On May 21st, 1804, Meriwether Lewis and William Clark left this very spot here in St. Charles, Missouri on a quest to discover the uncharted western two-thirds of our great continent. Once commissioned by President Thomas Jefferson, Meriwether Lewis immediately wrote a letter to his best friend, William Clark, describing for him his plan first to get to and then to go beyond the Rocky Mountains. He then offered an extraordinary invitation. If Clark would accept his invitation to join him on this quest, he promised him a captain's commission and the opportunity of shared leadership on the expedition. Now the president had granted Lewis the permission to uh, appoint other officers, but he certainly did not give him permission to appoint and commission another captain, and he definitely did not want shared leadership on this expedition. Shared leadership is the bane of military men. But Lewis offered it anyway. Clark's response was swift. This is an undertaking with many difficulties. But my friend, I do assure you that no man lives with whom I would prefer to undertake such a trip as yourself. I join you hand and heart. Lewis and Clark's passion, courage, commitment, and friendship are all qualities the Heartland Churches want to emulate and model for the next generation of disciples. The Heartland is made up of 10 churches. In Arkansas, we have churches in Little Rock and Northwest Arkansas. In Missouri, we have churches in St. Louis, Springfield, and Columbia. In Nebraska, we have a church in Omaha. In Kansas, we have churches in Kansas City, Lawrence, and Wichita. In Oklahoma, we have a church in Tulsa. We share a history of visionary leadership and great sacrifice as the call to make disciples went out and churches were planted throughout the heartland. Just as Clark knew that his quest would be fraught with many difficulties, so our journey too has been difficult at times. But God's grace is sufficient and we are forever committed to spreading the gospel of Christ to his world. The 2020 vision for the Heartland family of churches is both holistic in its scope and faithful in its dreams. Like Lewis and Clark, our dream is to share the leadership and responsibility for reaching everyone with the gospel. We strongly believe that the local church is the hope of our cities and towns. It is the redemptive hands and feet of Christ that bring the gospel to our schools and neighborhoods. But the effectiveness of our local efforts is multiplied by the vision and unity we as a family share for the heartland of America. Every summer, our kids are able to set the world aside and take hold of life within the safe confines of summer camp. Kids Camp and Heartland Youth Camp have created a legacy of excellence, friendship, and fun. In many ways, Heartland Youth Camp and Kids Camp have been the glue that has bonded us together as the Heartland family through some difficult times. In the span of one week, we have seen God work miracles in the hearts of our children. But the youth and family ministry doesn't end the last day of camp. In many ways, it's just the beginning. Once the kids get home with their sleeping bags and muddy socks, we still have another 51 weeks of the year to love, train, and protect. Although God has given the parents responsibility to train their children, we all need the help of others to do the best job possible. In order to be the best we can be for our children, here is our 2020 vision for the Youth and Family Ministry. Number one, we aspire that each congregation have a designated Youth and Family Ministry leader, either paid or volunteer. Number two, we want to create a study series that helps parents capture the heart of their children and lead them to a lifetime of devotion to Christ. Number three, we dream of developing a prodigal son ministry for parents whose children have walked away from the faith. Number four, we want to create a yearly youth and family retreat for the Heartland family. And number five, we also want to promote and create opportunities such as Hope Youth Corps for our children to serve and experience the kingdom of God away from home and to God be the glory. Our vision for our young adults and mature singles in our churches is simple. It has the potential to change our cities. We simply want to unleash their passion in the communities in which they live. We don't simply dream of exciting social events, although these are important. Our dreams are much more. We want to dream of raising up new leadership. We want to empower them to use their creativity, their energy, their idealism, their God-given gifts. 
The singles in our churches are made up of young men and women who are just starting out in their faith and have the zeal and energy and drive to do the impossible. We also have mature singles with years of life experience and solid faith, yet their spiritual dreams have not been fulfilled. We want to take the lid off the box and allow them to fulfill their dreams. The best is yet to come as we unleash the passion of our young adults and mature singles and to God be the glory. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Our love for God and others must continue to grow steadfastly throughout our lives. The Hebrew word for steadfast love is hesed, which means to have a continual growing love and deepening love for God and others. As we mature and the demands of life increase, the married adult ministry faces several challenges, uh, most of which revolve around maintaining relationships in our lives. In order to keep our relationship with God, our spouse, children, family, neighbors, and the church, we must make intentional decisions to remain in the vine and grow in steadfast love or hesed. We must be devoted to one another uh, within the bonds of discipling relationships in order to protect our marriages and to share wisdom in raising our children, calling uh, us higher in our walk with Christ. The heartland has great uh, need for elderships, to be created and deacons to be appointed and to, to assist us in, in this goal uh, we're going to uh, set up the Heartland School of Spiritual Development as well as the Heartland School of Ministry. Here's a trustworthy saying, if anyone sets his heart on being an overseer he desires a noble task, 1 Timothy 3.1 and in short our vision for the married adult ministry in the Heartland is to live life to the full. God created us to live lives discipleship and living within holistic schedules based on godly priorities we believe that God's vision for our adult ministries will be a, come a reality our fellowship in large part was built on the dreams convictions and hard work of the campus ministry our colleges and universities are bursting with amazing young men and women filled with the fire to change the world we must reach these students with the gospel of Christ and give them the tools they need to achieve their goal we also have our children and our fellowship with whom who have already started their college education or will in the future, and they must have strong campus ministries to join. In order to make our vision a reality, we have a plan. First, by 2020, our vision is to have at least one male and one female campus intern in each of our Heartland churches. Two, in order to effectively plant new campus ministries, we will form a strong partnership with the youth and family ministry to build a bridge between the groups and creating not only a smooth transition to the campus ministry, but a leadership track to train young leaders. Three, we plan to expand our Heartland Campus Swap program, sending students from one school to another during breaks to help jumpstart or strengthen a smaller campus ministry. And four, like Paul raised up Timothy to be a powerful young evangelist, we too want to raise up campus ministers, train them, and appoint them evangelists, giving us master builders in our campus ministries. Here are just a few of the schools we want to plant campus ministries in by the year 2020 in the heartland. One, the University of Nebraska in Lincoln. University of Arkansas in Fayetteville. University of Arkansas, Little Rock, and the University of Tulsa in Tulsa. And to God be the glory. In response to Christ's invitation to share His love with the dying world, our response is simple. We join you hand and heart.